So, Arsenal nil, Chelsea two, first home game of the season. And I gotta say, I was pretty disappointed. Not surprised, to be really honest. But again, it's one of those whereby you support a team, you back your team. Um, even though you might think your team will lose, you still want them to secretly win. And it was one of those whereby Arsenal were like weren't dominant. Chelsea were dominant. First half, like they really could have beaten us three, four nil if they wanted to, if they really took it up uh, another gear. But you just felt that they was in the se a second gear all throughout most of the game. It was almost like the preseason game that we played against them a few weeks ago in the mine tournament. And what I saw again was no real changes to the starting lineup apart from ones that were because of injury, but no changes in terms of like tactics, in terms of playing in a way to get the best of our players, particularly the forward players. So in this game, like Abamian was coming back from injury um, because he's had COVID. Um, and I don't know why he just didn't say he had COVID to really begin with. Um, but we played Martinelli up front. You had Saka on the left with Smith at the 10 and then Pepe on the right. And I knew that it was going to be the same thing with Arsenal that you see all the time with Aubameyang, with Martinelli being up top. Martinelli would get isolated. Most of the time, he's not going to get enough service. Um, players are just not going to be able to, to point him out. It's just going to be more games where we just get cross after cross after cross. And it's, it's not going to make a difference. And the part that I really wanted was I was hoping that Arteta would make a change. Even though I think that Arteta is just ridiculously stubborn and has already decided he's not going to make a change. He's not going to go with the 3-5-2 that I um, suggested or, or like a 3-4-3. He's going to stick with this 4-2-3-1. Even though it doesn't get the best of our strikers and we're not scoring goals. We got West Brom in the middle of the week. And I don't actually think we're going to score a goal from that game. I don't even think we'll get a win. Because of the way how we play right now, there's no real plan of attack on how we go about to score goals. Everything is, is going through Smith Rowe, which is great. Like, I, I like to see my young players get a chance. But a lot of the time, Smith Rowe's shots are, I mean, he's not a natural finisher. I definitely think that he's more of a creator than a finisher. And he, yeah, he gets himself in the right positions. That's what you want him to. But our strikers aren't getting in those positions. So it tells you, you need to change something. You need more of a goal threat in that number 10 position. And this is where the likes of Madison would have been the ideal player you get in that type of position. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Or it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And now... We're just ended up with the Arsenal that we see right now. I mean, it's just so disappointing. I've had some time to think about it. I've been on some other streams to hear what everybody else has to say, to talk about Arsenal. And it's just really, really frustrating. In the first half, you had some good points. You know, we, I think we started out well with, well with the right type of energy. That's something that we didn't do within the Brentford game. But what I didn't see was, I didn't see quality. I didn't see a, a plan. And now, again, we're two games in, and I know what everybody's thinking, Arteta out. And I can't argue with them. And to really be honest, I, I, I wouldn't say that I'm Arteta in. For me, I'm more like, Arteta, thank you very much, um, but we need you to leave immediately. And can you take Xhaka and Willian with you? That's how I generally feel about Arsenal right now. Hopefully, things will change, and I and I, I want I want to be positive. I really do. I want to be positive, but so far Mikel Arteta isn't giving me anything positive to really think about. And yeah, I did think this was a loss, 
but Arteta has to do something like immediately. Like City, we have next in the league. I do think that that will be a loss, uh, to be honest. But the games after that, we have to we have to make a change. Have to make a change. It is imperative that we make a change, or else we're gonna see the same thing over and over again. We had a transfer window that's still on right now for us to address the issues, and we haven't addressed any of it. And that's just the most disappointing part of what I've seen from this Arsenal performance. Now, I'm going to keep this pretty short and sweet because I don't think that there's much that you can really say about the game. A few kind of individual moments. Again, I thought there were parts where Kieran Tierney was, was good. But um, definitely for the first goal um, was at fault. Um, just tucking, no, sorry, the second goal, he was at fault, tucking in too much, meaning that Reese James just got so much space, he just took a shot, bang, goal. Uh, and I get the reason why he tucked in, is so that to help cover Mari, to stop them from coming more, in, uh, more into the middle, to provide a lot more defensive solidity. But what it meant was it left the wide areas completely open. And it just comes down to a structural problem. He has to change formation. And you saw Arteta at the end of the game. And you know he must be thinking. He doesn't know what to do. Well I think we all know what to do. You change the formation to suit the players. But he's stuck on this one way of playing. And unfortunately it's going to be a long time before things do change. Because one way or another. Either results will change. And we start getting wins. Or the manager is going to change. I personally think that by the time anything changes. It's probably going to be the manager. In these first 10 games, and we're two games in, we see the results. And now, it's going to be Arteta out. It has to. It, ha it has to be Arteta out. There's no way that I see Arteta making it for the end of, like, 10 games in. If this keeps going after City, because the third game is going to be a loss, I... I I don't see any way for Arsenal to beat City. No way whatsoever. But after City, can we get can we win games? Like it's gonna get to a point where when we get on the seventh game, if we lose that, I think they're gonna start looking for someone. There's no way that this could go on for that long. So Arsenal fans. Are you with me now when I say I'm officially Arteta out like, and I'm open to saying he's got to go because he is he's not making changes. He's sticking to his tactics and good for him. He, he wants to stick that way then um, his, his job will be like over because of it. So leave your comments on the game. Um, interesting to, to hear what you guys have to say. I'm assuming most people are going to have similar thoughts as myself uh, when it comes to Arteta and the performance uh, that we saw today. But, yeah, I think for me, I'm Arteta out. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. Thanks to all the new subscribers. And, yeah, I'll see you all next time.